Volcanic here and I'm back and I'm back with another review for you and today I'm getting ready to set up for the Death Trooper Army but first we got to open up Director Koenig so we're gonna do a little bit of a comparison between the six inch and the three and three quarter so let's uh, get right down into it. this is this packaging it's pretty cool And you got a little story here. Let's see if it focuses. All right, I got them out of their packages. They're looking good, looking good. Check that out, side by side. Looks awesome. First, I want to check out the code. I put it in. And we got. Kaboom! Death Star Strike. So, I don't know if these codes work. If you want to check it out, check it out. But there it is. Yeah, let's check it. Close look at these guys. Oh, look at that. He fell. He comes with a huge, ridiculous cannon. I'm not even going to waste my time talking about it. But, uh, here we go. Now, he looks really nice. He's got a... Uh, Good sculpt, good paint applications, except I do see something really weird going over here. But uh, his gun does fit in a holster and it's a chrome gun and the handle I do believe the handle has something on. Let's take his uh, removable cape off. It's a very pliable material. Which is nice. Just clips right on right there. And let's take a little better look at his gun. It does have very tiny uh, paint apps as I can see right there. Got a lot of little different paint going on there. That's pretty cool, and it fits right in his holster. So not often we get uh, commanders and stuff that have um, guns. You know, usually some usually have the staff, little little uh, pointer stick thing, which is uh, kind of cool itself. But you know, it's nice when they come with a weapon. But overall, it's definitely nice. I do like the very shiny boots, very shiny gloves, and the holster is very shiny. It's got some nice wrinkles in the pants and in the arms and sleeves. Really, overall, it's, I think it's a, it's a pretty cool figure to add to the collection. Definitely. And then him, he's definitely, he's superior in all ways, of course. Uh, if that'll focus, there we go. He's got a really good sculpt in the hair. Definitely looks much more like him in the movie. And his gun is just uh, brown and just kind of like a dull grayish color and his boots are definitely shiny and belt and gloves too it's got some nice texture too as you can see on the top of the pants but overall these are two really nice figures and yeah his cape is reversible too And he looks pretty good with his cape off. 
Alright, I want to thank you all for watching and checking this video out. And um, stay tuned and get ready because in the next video I am going to do the Death Troopers. So we can set them up here with Director Krennic. And uh, it should be a really good video. So um, I want to thank you all for tuning in and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care all.